for crops and chunks? Yes, that is chunks. Word to the wise. I heard Mr. Wright's gonna be looking for an apprentice. The UC can't be that bad, can it? You keep everything on the level and we'll get along. Every great. gun gets. Here's what I have in stock right now. Aquila is one of the oldest cities in the settled systems. If you need help, Miss Lance is just downstairs. I was hoping you'd show up soon. Is it done? Excellent. I'll let Ularo know that we can start moving forward with our negotiations. Now, I think it's time to examine a different set of skills. Nice to see I haven't worn you out yet. Your next assignment is to find a security chief and use some creative thinking to obtain their security keycard. And when I say creative, I don't mean with a weapon. Either look the part and be persuasive, or be quick with your hands. Good luck. I'm sure you'll be able to get that keycard without incident. Just remember, if anything does happen, it's up to you to bail yourself out.
accessories. Don't go causing trouble. Don't even think about trying anything. Someone send you over here for something? Sorry, but as you should know, the only person I'm authorized to hand my keycard to is my superior officer. I find it hard to believe that you'd have orders I'm unaware of. You again? I don't care what you... I thought I made myself clear. I'm not giving you my card. We'll see who gets tired of this first. Maybe I can make an exception. What did I do to deserve this? Fine, the key is yours. Just to remember to bring it back or I am reporting you. Keep your nose clean. Last thing I want is to charge you for a DP and A and B. Welcome, off-worlder, to the hotel. We're here at Reliant Medical. We've got it. Check the neuro amps. Oh, yeah. Hey there. Got that key card for me? I think of security the same way too, but don't let Dalton know I said that. Overall, not bad for a novice. I think you're ready to kick things up a notch, and your timing couldn't be better. Good. It's time for a change of pace. This next assignment requires a bit more discretion for two reasons. First, you'll be dealing with high-level executives, and second, you'll be in the Astra Lounge here in Neon. I suspect a great many things could occur in the Astra Lounge without anyone taking notice. The assignment is pretty easy. Our techs failed to uncover a potential deal between Infinity LTD and Quantum Synergies. Your job is to make sure that deal fails. That's what we're hoping for. You'll be speaking with Quantum Synergy's Executive Director Zola Adisa and their Financial Manager Arthur Cruz. I'll be giving you a dossier on both. I strongly suggest you read them for talking points. Exactly. Those lines are most likely to sway Zola and Arthur away from Infinity, not to mention give them a gentle nudge in our direction. The Infinity LTD rep is Nina Hart. I'll also be giving you an altered version of her presentation to swap out with the original. We've changed several figures, just enough to cause sufficient confusion throughout their meeting. Whenever executives are faced with numbers that don't properly match up, any faith they may have had will falter. Finally, I recommend dressing appropriately, so I've taken the liberty of having a suit made for you. We need absolute discretion on this one. I don't want any SSNN broadcasts about murder in the Astral Lounge. Got it? I bet you are. Just remember to keep a low profile. Don't let the Astral Lounge distract you too much.
Get lost, I have a job to do. Someone came dressed to impress. Here on business, or just out to escape? Ah, same here. Nothing like a business trip paid in full. Especially when there is good downtime. Ryujin Industries. A good guess since we are here in Neon, but no. Infinity LTD. Of course. They're putting forth effort to impress us, which shows they value and respect us. It won't have any significant impact when it comes down to business decisions, but it makes a good impression. Risky, you say. By all means, enlighten me. Cheap is a word quantum synergy should never be associated with. I believed our team had thoroughly researched infinity. But your comment gives me pause. Their instability was cited as a pain point, but one we could deal with as long as we maintained control of all joint projects. However, upheaval always comes with its own series of issues, delays, morale, public perception, and Drexler has yet to prove he can provide the consistency that I would prefer. Perhaps it really is more than I'm willing to undertake. A surprising conversation, and one I would never expect from someone such as yourself. I suppose the old saying, never judge a book by its cover, is appropriate here. It seems I have quite a bit to reconsider now, so it looks like the pleasure aspect of my trip needs to be postponed. Thank you for the insight. Welcome to the Astro Lounge. All these years, and Bayou hasn't let this place slip a single notch. The man knows how to run a business. Well, I take that as a compliment. Coming from someone as well-dressed as yourself, you either got great taste or great connections. Maybe even both. Tell me, you don't happen to work for Infinity LTD, do you? Got something against Infinity, I take it. I'd love to hear your reasons why. That's an awfully big claim to make. You'd have to have some inside details on their operation. However, it does match some of my own research that I've been conducting into their finances. Aren't you the resourceful one? That number tracks with the insider details I've been getting. Hmm, interesting. Look, it was nice meeting you, and I quite enjoyed our little talk. But it sounds like I need to take another look at some data before I head into this presentation of theirs. See you around, and maybe next time I'll be doing business with you. Not interested.
hope you can succeed at that before we are discovered. Make it quick. I have a deadline. Well, that wasn't too bad, was it? You're a natural. I'm not just saying that because I hired you. The Astral Lounge can be overwhelming for some, with all its bells and whistles. Tie that in with manipulating people who are the equivalent of their boss's boss, most junior-level ops would start to show their cracks. Overall, not bad for your first high-profile assignment. You even earned yourself a bonus, which Linden was more than happy to give. It's well deserved. Just keep making me look good and there'll be more where that came from. But no rest for the weary at Ryujin. We've got a decent backlog of assignments and they just keep coming, so I hope you're still good to go. At least this next one will be a break from all the chatter. Your next assignment is to remind the competitor of their place in the corporate food chain. Some call it retaliation, but we like to think of it as tough love. Most corporations live and die by public perception. Trusted products lead to a good reputation, which leads to profits. And, like it or not, we're all here for the profits. Your assignment is to plant an arc device. The Ark will allow us to frame our competitor for gross negligence and tank the public's perception. Good. All you need to do is plant the Ark on the service panel of your target. We can handle the rest from here. Do your best to make sure you aren't seen. The key is to make this look like a malfunction. And good luck. Keep it up, and you'll probably have my job soon. Smugglers always like to use Hope Tech ships to resemble legitimate transports. Hey, what can I, I wonder how the company stuff? feels about that. I'm sure you can find something you like. Oh, same as usual. Except I'm sure you can find something you like.
Rogers has made it. Tells everyone you met. Ron Hope. I mean, Ron Hope's, well, friendly. And... Ron Hope's the best thing that happened to us. Excuse me, excuse me! A little desperate here. A fair amount of business you runs through Hope Town, and from what I understand, most of it is legal. I don't want to hear any complaints. <sighs> never liked Hope Tech ships, though I suppose that is hardly the point of them.
Nice suit. Have I mentioned that I am not fond of seafood? Stay out of trouble. Hey there, got an update for me? Good work. Now I can let Masako know how much she'll enjoy watching the news tonight. Now, on to the next, right? Oh, but before I forget, the results of your Astral Lounge escapades are in. I'm happy to say that the deal was officially called off. Masako was very pleased with the outcome. So she arranged the bonus through Linden. Apparently you said all the right things when it came to Arthur. Quantum Synergies actually reached out to us to negotiate the potential deal. You earned it. So, back to business. In order to stay on top of the market, we have to know what our competition is doing. The next assignment requires a more brute force approach, since the chances of them sharing that information is unlikely. Good. Luckily, there aren't many, besides the usual. Your target is a prototype schematic for a new engine that Trident Luxury Lines is working on. According to the rumors, it's projected to be 17% more efficient than any engine on the market. The current schematic was sent to their star yard to begin prototyping, so they could be in the office area or the factory floor. You'll find the Trident Luxury Line Star Yard orbiting Aquila in the Cheyenne system. Remember, same rules apply. Don't get caught, and don't make a mess. Welcome to Free Star Space. We're gonna do a quick scan for contraband, and you can be on your way. Scan complete. Go ahead and land. Trident Star Yard acknowledging hail. All customers are warmly welcome.
pressure normalized and we're docked. Welcome to Trident. Hey there. I have heard much debate on whether Trident ships are overpriced. I have never it flown one myself, so I cannot be sure. The galaxy must see my latest masterpiece. How quickly can you get that done? We need to find Aaron. Or some other time then. Excuse me. Just the person I wanted to see. You got that schematic? Good work. R&D's been looking forward to this one. I need to deliver this to Vina so she can start the reverse engineering process. But first, Ulara wants to see you. I've upgraded your security level so you can access the executive floor where her office is. Tell her assistant Maeve you have an appointment. I won't be far behind, in case you get lost. It says something, does it not? That the executives wish to have everyone else be. Can I help you? I've got my eye on you. Name and appointment. Confirmed. Ularu is wrapping up a meeting with Genevieve. You can wait here or in the lobby area.
I'll let you know when she's ready to see you. I see Imogene Salso is supposed to be with you. I'm right here, Maeve. Good. It should just be a moment. Well, sooner than I thought. Looks like Ularu's ready now. Oh, one more thing. You know, if they aren't willing, that leaves us with only Don't one cause option. any trouble. God, Ularu. Is that always your response? I don't want another PR mess on my hands. Yes, Viv, because you're too good at your job. No. We can talk details later. My next appointment's here. Fine. But you can break this news to Alexis at our next meeting. Don't wander into any restricted areas. Good. You're finally here. The one I've been hearing so much about. I'm Ularu Chen, head of operations here at Ryujin. So tell me, what do you think of your new job so far? In that case, it sounds like our initial impression of you is turning out to be quite accurate. Now, my dear genie here says you've been through the basics of what we do and pulled off success every time. Five successful standard assignments, and one specialized. And on top of all that, a flawless record. It's no wonder they love you up here. I happen to have a personal assignment that I'd like to send you on. One that involves meeting up with an outside contact. Genie seems to think you're more than capable of handling it. He's the best operative I've ever hired. <laughs> Let's not forget the only operative you've ever hired. Meeting with outside contacts isn't always as straightforward as your past assignments. Some can be fickle or demanding, so you'll need to decide how to handle them and what decisions to make on the fly. Good, because if not, I can't imagine we have much use for you here at Ryujin. Your contact is Simon Rychek. He claims to have information on a new project that Infinity LTD is working on. He said it's a game-changer that Ryujin would be especially interested in. So, his asking price is the big thing to consider. Finance will reimburse up to a thousand credits. So, if you have negotiation skills, use them. Oh, <laughs> you'll get the information if you want to hang on to your job. Now, in order to confirm your identity, Simon prefers code phrases. I'll let Jeannie give you the details on this one, because the concept is just... beneath me. Simon is into sports, so he enjoys any opportunity to talk about them. At some point, he'll casually say, Looks like the Galactic Raiders are the number one pick for the Universal Championship this year. You get to respond with, Razor Derby is the only real sport. Got it? Razor Derby is the only real sport. Yes, got it. You'll find him in Sidonia, so I hope your ship's fueled. Just look for him above the Lux condos in the plaza. You spoke very highly of this one, Genie. Let's hope he doesn't make a liar out of you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some things to take care of. Uh, thanks for the vote of confidence. Keep out. Ah, oh, whenever I eat here, I cannot help but taste dust and dirt. Well, I do not think I am imagining it. Down 
I need to find a real bar. You lost? Or just come to ask an out-of-work miner how his day is going? Eh, only good thing worth talking about these days is sports. Speaking of, looks like the Galactic Raiders are the number one pick for the Universal Championship this year. You're damn right it is. <laughs> I heard they were sending someone new. Nice to see you made it. I have information on a deal being proposed between Infinity LTD and Deimos Stockyards. It's my belief that your employers would be highly interested in the details. So I'm upping my price. It's steep, yes. But that is why I'm also offering a little side job if you can't pay up. I don't think Ryujin would be too happy to hear about losing one of their informants. Alright, alright, I get it. You want reasonable? This is as low as I go. I knew you'd see reason. The information I have is on a deal for something called Project Dominion. I'm giving you two slates. They contain surveillance and interaction data for Stanley McMillan, the Infinity Rep, that I obtained myself. I'm also giving you a third slate because you're going to need to download the files on Project Dominion off his computer yourself. Nice doing business with you. for computer systems. Keep out of my way, and I'll keep out- Well, that took longer than expected. I hope whatever information Simon had was worth it. <laughs> Project Dominion? That can't be right. Give me a moment to run a decryption. Let's see... <laughs> Got the key, deciphering, and... done. Well, well, well. <laughs> Looks like our friend Simon wasn't joking.
Project Dominion isn't an Infinity LTD prototype. It's one of ours. <laughs> they didn't even bother to scrub the name. Meaning someone never thought they'd get caught. Come with me. Masako needs to hear about this. This could be the most important meeting of my career. Hey, um, Ularu? What is this about? Who is this? Hmm. This is our latest junior operative. I sent him on an assignment to rendezvous with an informant. But here's the real news. Infinity LTD has gotten their hands on Project Dominion. Impossible. Not only that, they're trying to sell it under their own name. Of course they are. <sighs> we need fines to investigate this immediately. Since you found this information, I am trusting you to help investigate. You see, Project Dominion is confidential. It requires a high security clearance to even know it exists. If Infinity LTD has obtained any information on it, that means we have a very well-connected mole within our corporation. Exactly. I want you to go see Dalton Fines. Our chief security officer. I'll send him the details. You've brought an enormous security violation to our attention, so I trust your help in any way possible. And thank you. Some operatives may have seized this as an opportunity for extortion. It's good to know your loyalty lies with us. Don't wander into any restricted areas. Dalton. Ah, the lovely Miss Amada. How can I help? Cut the crap, Dalton. I'm sending an operative your way, along with some files, to your computer. I'll be ready. Not for this one, but I trust you'll get it done. Not Let's break it open. They know how to make a client feel well. Good. You're here. So, thanks to your work in Sidonia, I'm told someone here has leaked information on Project Dominion to our adversaries at Infinity LTD. A mole within the company means a failing in my department. We're initiating Security Directive Theta, which means a full sweep of every employee in this building, Masako and myself included. It's certainly a failing. But for now, we're focusing on redemption. Directive Theta has one unique case, and that's Ularu Chen. The Directive calls for a specialized programmer known as Nix to investigate her. But he'll need your assistance for an unusual assignment. 
We don't deal in trust here. Think more in terms of mutual benefit and leverage. And in this case, it's mutual benefit. Nix will be giving you a program to run on Ularu's computer that will pull any data needed to prove her guilty or innocent. Your job is to infiltrate Ryujin Tower as an anonymous outsider in order to run this program. Completely off the books. This means your keycard will be turned off, and the security guards in the building will consider you to be trespassing. At least one of us is. In the meantime, I'll ensure all non-essential employees, Ularu included, have left the building, claiming routine security maintenance. During that time, I'll be unlocking access to the tower's ventilation system, which you can utilize to help avoid detection. I'm also issuing you a disruptor, which should help in avoiding casualties should a worst-case scenario turn up. We will make a concerted effort to avoid direct conflict, as much as possible. Good. No one can know about this, not even our own guards. So stealth will be of utmost importance. In fact, as much as I appreciate the words of your associate here, you may be better off heading in alone. Any precautions to mitigate risk should be taken. You'll meet Nix at Madame Sauvage's place. He knows Directive Theta has been enacted. I've got my eye on you. Inside's a bad place for tourists these days. Madame Sauvages. I have zoned out of my mind right now. <laughs> you got an appointment? Cause if not, consider this area reserved. Oh yeah, Dalton's little errand runner. I've written up a program just for the occasion, but as Ryujin knows, it's yours for either a price or a favor. You'll be back. Back to business, shall we? I've written up... Oh, I'm pretty sure it's not. You know what? I like you. Maybe we can work something out. I hear you. All right, you win. No wonder Ryujin hired you. While you're snooping around in the tower, I just need you to hit up one more workstation on the way. It's Camden Cho's. Just run the same program on the slate I'll give you, and you're good. It's that simple. I believe this Camden Cho might consider it a problem, but it is your decision. I hoped you'd see it that way. Like I said with Camden, all you've got to do is run this little beauty on Alaru Chen's computer, and the program will take care of the rest. Once you're done, bring the slate back to me at my place. 
Whatever encryption Alaru has is bound to take some real work. More than my little setup here can handle. It's nice to see you know more than just sneaking around and talking a good game. Here's the slate. I'll be waiting. Don't be stupid! Stop! Now! I have little use for robots, especially ones too small to carry supplies or serve as cover in combat. You don't belong here. Nice try, but the building is off limits. You sure didn't get in by any authorized means. Yeah, I hear you. I'm glad you understand the position I'm in here. Look, I'll trust you, but if any of us catch you on another floor... We'll shoot first and ask questions later.
How are you? Do not have all the fun without me.
Listen. Shh. Hear that? Nothing there. I've got eyes on the suspect. Keep your eyes peeled. Possible suspect in the area. I'm going for it! Cover me!
So, you made it. Guess Ryujin's security really is slipping. <laughs> Just brimming with confidence, aren't you? But I've seen your work in the Trade Tower, so I'll at least give you some credit. Now, I'll take that program back that I gave you, and let's give the data a look. I gave you to run on Ularu's computer basically opens an all-access back door for me. I can see everything and anything, so let's take a look. First, I'll just save off Mr. Cho's info. My client will very much appreciate that. Now on to Ms. Chen. Ularu has some impressive encryption on her files. Not that I can't crack it, of course. Circumventing protections, running decryption... This should just take a moment now. Damn, I'm good. That went faster than I thought. I'm saving several files to a slate for Dalton, including access history and anything related to Project Dominion. You want this done or not? I've got the new encrypted slate. Let me tell you, it looks like fun times ahead for Ryujin. Technically, I'm not supposed to look, but it's kind of hard to not see what's going on while running all my software. You do that. Here's the slate. As usual, always a pleasure doing business with Ryujin. Better not be a waste. Then here I thought you were just. All right, buzz off. I'm busy. Noel's goods. We have everything you. Well, I assume success is in order. I had a few reports, but at least nothing that set off any red flags. I expected as much. Now, let's see what we have here. was possible. But someone's been accessing Ularu's files remotely. It's quite a complicated trace, too. I'm impressed Nix was able to track all of this. Damn. And there's our culprit. Imogene Salzo, Senior Operations Specialist, and one of the few I had in mind for who could pull this off. Well, she has the means and access, but things are rarely so cut and dry. 
Well, before we make any harsh decisions, I'll need to question her myself. I want you to head to her office and escort her here. We have to make sure she doesn't try anything before I have a chance to speak with her. Good. When you're dealing with corporate workers, discerning the truth from the lies is the hardest part. Let me guess. Looking for Imogene? I'm sure you can tell by now. She isn't here. Which is a shame, since I have several documents I need her to sign off on. She's always been the master of avoiding desk work. I'm not even sure that's any business of yours. But I do enjoy keeping close tabs on my counterpart. Dare I ask why you need to know? Yeah, no thanks. Getting information out of Dalton is like talking to a wall. Besides, speculation is far more fun. I have Imogene's last location at Frankie's Grab and Go, which we all know is a front for the Sioka Syndicate. You'll want to get executive sign-off if you plan on chasing after her. I'd say Dalton is your best bet. Glad to hear it. Good. I'd hate to see what sort of drama might get stirred up if you went around him. Or maybe I'd love it. Keep the workplace interesting, right? <laughs> Good luck finding Imogene. Oh, and if you do catch up with her, be sure to let her know I had everything to do with it. No Imogene, I see. Could she really be on to us already? Of course, Yuko would know. If Imogene's with the Syndicate, I can't just send you after her. You'll need to speak with Benjamin Bayou. We have to make sure he's aware of the situation. If we're lucky, he may even help us get to Imogene. Good, because without it, this adds a complexity that we do not have time for. Head over to the Trade Tower and be discreet. Let Bayou know that you're there on Ryujin's behalf. He may ask for credits or even a favor. Just give him what he wants. The sooner the better. We don't want to give a clever mind like hers any more room than we have to. Just be sure to bring her back here in one piece. If she's truly the Mole, she'll have a lot to answer to. If she resists or tries to run, we have no choice but to take it as an admission of guilt. I'm afraid you'll have to dispose of her. Imogene has the potential to do this company a great deal of harm with her knowledge. She knows the consequences of betraying Ryujin, which makes her dangerous. If the situation does take a turn for the worst, I only ask that you perform a thorough search for any evidence she may have in her possession. I trust you won't let your past relationship cloud your judgment.
out of reach for those who refuse to step toward them. You lost, kiddo? Yeah, well, make it quick. I ain't a fan of loitering. I had some high hopes for this shop back when my husband and I opened it a while back. These days, if you ain't a regular, you're usually trouble. We'll see about that. Until next time. I don't recall sending for anyone. What do you want? No. I can always make time when it comes to an old friend. So, what would be the reason? I may consider Ryujin an ally, but Dalton especially knows I don't give anything blindly. As long as it doesn't involve the Syndicate members themselves, I'll tell you what. I'll make sure the Syndicate lets you in hassle-free, provided you do a little something for me. Well, that was riveting. Tell you what. And what mutual benefit would that be? Whoa. Okay. Uh, let me think. All right. You talk a good game. And I suppose if we're looking at a mutually beneficial situation, there's no reason for me not to allow such a small favor. Check in with Ms. Moore at Frankie's. I'll send word along that you're to be expected, so she shouldn't give you any trouble. Fair warning, the Syndicate should let you search any common areas, but if anyone catches you snooping around private quarters, I'll just say, be prepared for some hostilities.
Now we were talking... Oh, yeah? I don't see your name on my guest list. Now why don't you tell me what you really want before I blow your brains out? I know for a fact that young lady doesn't want to be disturbed. So why don't you take a hike? Not worth dying for this shit! Hold it right there, Op. I need you to back down and give me a chance to explain.
I had a feeling you'd be the one to come after me. I know this doesn't look good, but I had no choice. Ularu set me up. Yes, I've been acting as a double agent, but because she ordered me to. The assignment was meant to deceive, not benefit. And Project Dominion is way above my pay grade. It'd be impossible for me to deliver it. At least, intentionally. Look, I only know about Project Dominion because I wanted to know exactly what I was being accused of leaking. But that tech is dangerous. An internal neuroamp that can theoretically control other people? If the evidence points to me, it's because Ularu used it to set me up. What better way to frame someone than to take control of their mind and have them actually perform the actions? It's the only scenario that makes sense. Besides, what's my motive? My career is solid at Ryujin. Infinity can't possibly beat my current benefits. Believe me, after having to play double agent, I've learned all of this firsthand. That's exactly what I've been doing here. Ularu has the skill to pull this off, but she's also been behind the desk for years now. I knew she'd miss something. This slate holds all the evidence against her. I just need you to deliver it to Dalton. It's the only way I can prove I'm innocent. I was hoping you would. I'm still going to lay low until I hear the coast is clear. As long as Ularu still thinks I'm on the run, she'll remain confident that her plan is working. And, I know you don't hear it much around the office, but... thanks.
I hope this means we're back to business as usual. Seems like the Crimson Fleet is everywhere. Well, look who's back. So tell me, what did you find out? Fine, fine. I won't push. Enjoy your time with Dalton. It'll all trickle back to me sooner or later. This deal could be huge. Don't cause any trouble. Is there something I can help you with? All right. This sounds like a closed door conversation. Just a moment. Shutting the door and engaging locks. There. Now, is this some sort of joke? I thought Dalton was conducting a real investigation. And just where is this absurd notion coming from? Is this a game? I wasn't aware. Oh, sure. I'm not sure you'll get... Oh, will you? I've heard enough. Are you serious? It sounds like you're only here to waste my time. Now that sounds more like a proposition I could get behind. Fine. Since it's just you and me here, I'll come clean. I leaked Project Dominion to Infinity LTD. But I'm no mole. <laughs> the only traitor to speak of here is Masako. You see, I'm not a mole. I'm an opportunist, and no one is more loyal to Ryujin than I am. Masako, on the other hand, is losing her touch. Ryujin needs strong leadership for what lies ahead. A CEO who can make the hard decisions. Back then, hard decisions were all about screwing people over and white-collar crime. Today, they're more about ensuring success by any means necessary. So, now that you know, it's time to see how good you are at making hard decisions. With your help, I can take down Masako and make the credits worth your while. So whose side are you on? Masako's or Ryujin's? <laughs> that would be my side. I can see to it that you'll not only get a raise, but a substantial bonus, should all things go my way. And since we're working together, I'll take that so-called evidence off your hands. And soon to be non-existent. Now that I know where your loyalties lie, I suggest you act as if nothing's changed. If you're looking for a scapegoat on Project Dominion, you can feed Imogene to the wolves. When it's time for the next phase of my plans, I'll let you know. I've got my eye on you.
The Eugen CEO is no joke. You're back. And Imogene? I was afraid that evidence Nix provided would be legitimate. Ularu will be very disappointed. I'll have Yuko determine her position so we can start tracking her. Were you at least able to gather any data on how she was able to access Project Dominion? Given her training, I tend to agree. Now, I need to undertake the laborious task of writing up a report to summarize all of this. In the meantime, Masako has requested your presence in R&D. She wants you to meet her in Vinakara's office. Once I've examined this evidence, I may need your help in moving forward. And not a word about this to anyone. I'll present what I have to the board once I've completed a full report. Faraday prefers all ships keep at least a click away from the tall well, vessel. surprise you returned a hail. Can I ask the first question? I'm still talking with the captain. Cindy will organize everyone into a queue. Are you sure you're up for this? This is a really fun crowd. So helpful. All right. Who's up? First question. Is being a ship captain non-stop thrills and excitement like living in that movie Return of the Interceptor? Oh, I was kind of hoping there would be thrills all over the place. I am sure the captain is really busy and may not have time for all your questions. If you can afford your very own ship, you must be super well off. You single? Oh dear lord. Uh, we have to move along. Next, next. Last question. Let... Space is a lawless mess. If you could make the damn politicians fix one thing about it, what would it be? Talk taxes? Don't I pay enough taxes? Hey, don't, don't cut that. Thank you, Captain, for the, uh, welcome break. I've got a question. Is it true captains have someone in every port? You know, a special someone? For l'amour? Or so You don't have to answer that. Really? Oh. That's all. Everyone settle back in your seats. I cut the intercom? You have the patience of a saint. This tour group is very... energetic. Here's some credits for giving them such an authentic experience. This is your captain speaking. We're about to head to our next destination. Remember, we'll be in Neon in five days, so don't spend all your money yet. Astral Lounge, here I come! Dear Lord.
site looks clean. Let's set it down. Could do quite well on the Red Mile. I think... Together, the two of us could do very well. I don't get paid to be nice. I get paid to put down any vermin that tries to start something here. Engage! Target locked! Why would you do such a thing? get paid to be nice. I get paid to put down any vermin that tries to start something here. This is all a bit more legal now, I suppose, but hardly more civilized. Whatever you have to say, I don't give a shit. Wait! Don't shoot me! I didn't do anything wrong! Bullshit. You didn't think we'd notice that you tried to slip away without paying your check? I was just going out for some fresh air. I even told the bartender. You can ask her yourself. Fresh air, huh? On a plane. You'll be talking to the underside of my boot if you keep trying to strike up a conversation. Lower your weapon. Need something for your ship? Yes. Hey, you're the captain of that ship. Is your registration paperwork in order? It's bad practice to leave our establishment. Fine. Truth is, I don't really give a damn. I gotta ask because it's my job, you know. And don't get me wrong. I used to care about running a tight operation. Had everything going nice and smooth. But when May started building this place up and hired those mercs, everything went straight to hell. I voiced my displeasure, and now I'm on the outs. Sure has. May, she's got these big ideas about making this place some kind of must-see attraction for the whole settled systems. You'd think she'd care a little bit more about the quality of the damn starport. Anyway, I'm sure you're already sick of my bitching. If you need parts for that ship, or a top-up on the grab drive fuel, that's me. Sure, what you want. Good luck with... Well, whatever. What the hell are you looking at? You're trying to piss me off. <laughs> Can you believe that? Let me be clear. Like I'm gonna run off without you pay. You start something. What kind of scum Every do they think I am? Here, we'll make sure. Hey, watch out. You cause trouble, and I will not hesitate to end you in any number of ways I see fit. This ain't the United Colonies, Cupcake. Here, you listen to me. I lead the security force. Because we have to deal with the dregs of society, like you. Because May lets us handle things our way. Best way to keep people in line is through fear. After you see your first head split open on the bar floor, you're gonna think twice about skipping out on your tab. Maybe you don't start that fight over your lost bet. You get it now? Go bother some- Hello. Ah, a new face. I wonder, 
Is this the face of a brave runner here to challenge the Red Mile? Or simply one seeking a respite from the burdens of life? My name is May, and I'm the proprietor of this establishment, home of the famous Red Mile. I assume you're familiar. Never heard of it. Never heard of it? I won't even ask how that's possible. <laughs> you're in for a treat then. The Red Mile is the settled system's most exciting sporting event. Brave contestants from all corners of the galaxy come here to try their luck in a deadly race to the finish. Those that survive are celebrated as champions. Those that don't are quickly forgotten. <clears throat> I'm happy to answer any other questions you might have. In the meantime, please enjoy our world's famous hospitality. A pleasure.